Engineers really make everything that we touch uh, and use on a daily basis. And a lot of people think that engineers are only making products better, but really a lot of the research and development money is going into making new products uh, that people can use to improve their health, uh, their lifestyle, their fitness. Um, and so really engineers are making new things every day that can transform the world. Cleveland State University and the Washkowitz College of Engineering have evolved significantly over our 100 years of existence. In 1923, YMCA grade school started offering courses towards a bachelor's degree in engineering. In 1929, those were organized into the Fenn College. Then in 1964, Fenn College served as the nucleus for Cleveland State University. Then in 2014, the Fenn College of Engineering was renamed the Washkowitz College of Engineering in honor of uh, Don Washkowitz, a Fenn College graduate and uh, CEO of Parker Hannafin. Our programs were designed around cooperative education from beginning, but now we've added partnership with industry on our capstone senior design projects, where our industry partners provide projects that our students work on and provide a deliverable at the end of the project for the customer. And some of our students also have design projects that they initiate on their own. We are presenting those to our business plan competition at the business school so that they can start a business around this invention and uh, hopefully create jobs and provide economic impact to the region. People are surprised to know uh, that most innovations actually come out of small companies and most engineers in the U.S. work in entrepreneurial engineering companies. Most engineering programs focus really just on the engineering aspect and kind of ignore the entrepreneurship aspect. And what's so exciting about being at Cleveland State is we're really embracing that entrepreneurial mindset and bringing it into engineering. Jim Heckelman, a Fenn College graduate, is a perfect example of social mobility and the economic impact we provide uh, based on our graduates. I grew up on a farm and my dad and mom could not afford college. I started repairing radios and televisions during school and even a little bit of the bank's security system at that time. There was a neighbor that was very interested in what I was doing and uh, she and her husband insisted that I go to college someplace. I think they saw the talent in me and said, you know, this really can't go to waste. The neighbor uh, told me he was taking me to Fenn College to enroll, and that was that. During my time at NASA, I continued my part-time work that I started when I was younger of servicing electronic equipment and installing PA systems and so forth. I continued that with NASA's approval, and that business grew so that in 1972, I left NASA to start my own business. My wife and I incorporated Danmar Company to pursue that endeavor. You know, Cleveland State University came from Fenn College, and I think it still holds the traditions of Fenn, which to me are so important. We have our student design teams, like the Chemi car and the Baja car, which really help students uh, to get that uh, entrepreneurial mindset. Then we also have a strong participation with the National Science Foundation i program, uh, which helps students to take their ideas and grow them into a viable business. Our major initiative now on interdisciplinary integrated majors, we think will provide that impact that is needed, combining English with computer science for jobs in AI and natural language processing, health sciences with data science for jobs in digital medical records, and we're integrating our own majors in electrical engineering and mechanical engineering for jobs in mechatronics and automation. People really abandon assistive technologies at alarming rates. The Center for Human Machine Systems brings people together across disciplines, and it brings in people with disabilities to be integral parts of our research teams and to help us educate our students to work in, in different ways. One of the great examples of an integrated knowledge transition team is our robotic assisted feeding team. We had these big eye tracking goggles with a giant cable coming off the end. We showed it to our team member with a spinal cord injury and he said, nobody's going to wear that thing for more than like five minutes. So they've got their phone or a, a tablet that's attached to their wheelchair. Just use that as the device. 
So that's a great example of not going down a, a dead end path because we have someone on our team that really has lived experience. Why are France cities historically hold a special significance in trade, transportation, various aspects of life and ecosystem and wildlife? Here in Cleveland, uh, Lake Erie plays such a crucial role. We have a very good collaboration with different organizations and leading professionals such as Great Lakes Science Center, uh, Cleveland Water Alliance and nationally with National Science Foundation and internationally with IEEE Oceanic Engineering Society and provide this opportunity to our students who are passionate about um, the ocean science, engineering and technology. We are a model, we believe, for a public urban serving college. We are a innovative, forward thinking, collaborative college that provides value to our students through social mobility and value to the region with economic impact. CSU is number one of all universities in Ohio for social mobility uh, for our students. We have a $3 billion impact on the region. Uh, so therefore, we really believe that the future of Cleveland is dependent on CSU and the future of CSU is dependent on Cleveland. We're in this together.